Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to solve three very interesting questions based on energy and wavelength. Before I explain you solution of these questions, I request you to go through my last video that was based on energy and wavelength for generation and recombination. In that, all the basic concepts related energy and wavelength that I have discussed, based on this only, I will be solving these three questions. So, let me show you those questions first. See, what I want is you just try all those questions by your own. So, you can freeze the video in between. This is second question and this is third question. I hope you have freezed the video in between and you might have tried those questions by your own. Now, I am going to solve first question over here. So, first question is the longest wavelength that can be absorbed by silicon which has band gap of 1.1 electron volt is 1.1 micrometer. So, here we are having band gap that is 1.1 electron volt and 1.1 micrometer that is a wavelength of silicon. If the longest wavelength that can be absorbed by another material is 0.87 micrometer, then the band gap of this material is how much? So, here we are dealing with to find band gap of another material, right? And for that, we are given with longest wavelength that is 0.87. 87 micrometer. So, in my last video, I have explained you as if you have as if you have energy in terms of electron volt, then relation of energy with wavelength will be 1.24 divided by lambda, where lambda will be there in terms of micrometer. If you observe that, you see I have explained that right. Energy in terms of electron volt that will be 1.24 divided by lambda in terms of micrometer. So, that formula that I am going to use over here. So, if you apply the value, see here we are dealing with to find band gap of second material. With that, wavelength is 0.87 micrometer. So, 1.24 divided by 0.87 and if you solve this, you will be having energy in terms of electron volt. Let me check my answer. So, my answer that is 1.42 and that is there in terms of electron volt. So, here you can say approximated answer is A. I have seen one another way by which also students are solving this same question. Let me solve it in that way also. You see here energy is proportional to 1 by lambda that even you can say. So, based on that you can say E2 is equals to E1 into lambda 1 divided by lambda 2, where E1 is, you see, E1 is the related silicon, so that is 1.12 into lambda 1, so lambda 1 is 1.1 divided by lambda 2, so lambda 2 is 0.87 and if you solve this, you will be getting same answer, that is this, which is 1.416 electron volt. Right. So, that is how also you can solve this question, but you do not need to have this data. This is extra data that is given in this question. Sometimes that happens. Let us have second interesting question now. In second question, the cutoff wavelength in micrometer, so we are dealing with to find cutoff wavelength in micrometer of light that can be used for intrinsic excitation of semiconductor material of band gap that is 1.1 electron volt. So, here we are given with energy band gap in terms of electron volt and we need to find cutoff wavelength, right. So, here same formula that we will be using. What is that formula? You see, here energy in terms of electron volt that is 1.24 divided by wavelength in terms of micrometer. So, we can have wavelength in terms of micrometer that is 1.24 divided by energy in terms of electron volt. So, 1.24 divided by energy that is 1.1 and if you solve this, your answer will be uh, 1.127 micrometer. See, this is what cutoff wavelength, remember this and see cutoff wavelength means what? Cutoff wavelength means that will be highest wavelength. 
you see in theory portion also i have explained that when it comes to energy band gap then for electron motion you need to give minimum energy that is eg with that wavelength will be lambda g and if you observe that will be lambda g which will be maximum wavelength right so with eg maximum wavelength that will be lambda g that is cutoff wavelength lower than this that can be absorbed right so eg des that is maximum energy that could be absorbed by electron with which wavelength will be lambda g dash so this lambda g dash this lambda g dash that will be lower than this so here so here this is what cutoff wavelength cutoff wavelength means what this is maximum wavelength this is maximum wavelength that could be absorbed by this intrinsic material or you can say this semiconductor material right so that is how things are there remember lower than that lower than that also can be absorbed but for that you should be having energy eg see lower than that lower than that that is lambda g dash but for that you should be having eg dash which is this value right here we are having eg only so that is having cutoff wavelength lambda g and that lambda g is maximum and up to minimum lambda g dash it could absorb right but for that you should be having data which is eg dash let us move on to third interesting question now so third question is at t is equals to 300 kelvin temperature the band gap and intrinsic carrier concentration of gallium arsenide are 1.4 to electron volt and 10 to the power 6 per centimeter cube respectively so we are having band gap and intrinsic concentration over here with gallium arsenide in order to generate electron hole pair in gallium arsenide which one of the wavelength lambda c ranges of incident radiation is most suitable so we need to find most suitable range for lambda c over here out of these four options so here we are having energy and intrinsic concentration we don't need to have intrinsic concentration to have wavelength you just need to have energy right and as we are using that formula you should know energy in terms of electron volt that is 1.24 divided by wavelength in terms of micrometer so here we can have wavelength in terms of micrometer here we are talking about lambda c so instead of micrometer now i'm writing lambda c that is 1.24 divided by eg right now 1.24 divided by this is 1.42 and now we will be having lambda c in terms of micrometer over here so let us check this solution let me check what is my answer that is 0 0.87 micrometer over here now we need to see how many options are there so if you observe here we are having a range right here we are having a range so first you need to understand what is the meaning of lambda c with energy band gap eg as i have told you see in theory portion when you have energy band gap eg at that time you will be having lambda g and that lambda g that will be maximum wavelength right that lambda g will be maximum wavelength and lower than that wavelength that is possible but we don't know what is that exact lower value so from options we need to understand so here let me mention this is what max this is what max lambda right this is what max lambda c so if you observe options over here so here we are having maximum value so maximum is 0.87 right and here maximum value is greater than this so these options are false so possibly possible option is 0.42 micrometer to 0.87 micrometer so this option is correct so that is how questions are coming so in that it is not like you will be given with all the data you will have to identify what is suitable option right and for that your fundamentals should be proper then you can easily reply to any question i hope you have understood this still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video